Hello, this is another unboxing video for a game we picked up at Comic Con just a few days ago, and it is called Yashima Legend of the Kami Masters by Greenbrier Games. Now, uh, Greenbrier did a game previously called Grimslingers that I was really, really intrigued by, but so far I had only picked up the little mini expansion of characters, which is also a game that could be played by itself. So I was intrigued by this game and the the booth that was displaying it, an actual uh, booth that sells board games, had it on a shelf for 50% off. And when I go to purchase it and they tried to give me full price, I mentioned that to them and they, uh, they said it wasn't supposed to be there. I was a bit upset by it, but I didn't, you know, I didn't make a fuss. So I went to go put it back and they were like, you know what, let's give it to you anyway. So I got this game at 50% off. Let's see what it says. You are a Kami master trained in the art of channeling the spirit energy of the Kami. Unrivaled in expertise of your chosen fighting style, you are sworn to up uphold the honor of your house. Yashima Legend of the Kami Master, Masters is a fast-paced combat game that combines the speed and complexity of card games with the tactical movement and terrain found in miniature games. With various styles of play, you can compete in a two-player duel, team-based combat, or a free-for-all showdown. Your battle deck is your life force. Use it to generate karma and un unleash new abilities. Every card you play and lose matters. Unique tome cards with page-turning mechanics provide multiple tactical options to keep every turn exciting. The action pool and the ability to influence turn order makes every round distinct a distinctive experience. Facing attack partners and friendly fire makes melee combat simple yet engaging. Multiplayer competition stays intense for all players. Instead of player em elimination, defeated players return more powerful with a vengeance. Drive all your opponents restoration. Drive all your opponents to restoration and be the last one standing to claim victory for yourself or for your team. This is uh, another game where the artwork looked um, really stunning. I believe uh, there's some videos of this because it was uh, for sale at Gen Con or Origins or whatever that last big game convention was in Ohio. Was it? I'm not sure. But it got some pretty good buzz. So, And uh, I was not familiar with this game uh, prior to seeing it at Comic-Con. But um, I saw it, I was looking at it for, the, for a couple of days, and finally when I got back to my hotel, I went to the lobby and went on YouTube and looked it up. And it seemed pretty intriguing to me. So let's open it up and check it out. Okay, again, I'm going to have to use these uh, chunky clippers here. Come on. And no, I'm not talking about Simon. That's a game of joke, I guess. Tabletop joke. Almost there. I promise. I promise. There we go. Alright. Apparently where I'm at, uh, there's been a great big heat wave that had just broken when we returned. So the whole time we were in San Diego, it was a nice 70 degrees, and here it was uh, almost up to 110. And then when we got back, the weather calmed down. All right, let's open this up. So let's see what the instruction book says. Maybe I could do a quick overview. If it's different from the back. Yeah, this is a nice uh, nice long story here. So this is what we'll do. The beginning. The world got ugly. Humans took all that was good, stripped it bare, and hungrily sought more. 
As people grew in power, they destroyed more and more of the planet. When, reali when reality finally cracked, most who survived believed Earth was fighting back. Others were not so sure, but since everyone struggled for life, the spark that started the end remained a mystery. As humanity began to die off, the rest of nature grew in strength. Ancient cultures, now arcane and forgotten, had always believed that all living beings had a soul. Now, at the twilight of the age of man, these cultures were finally given empirical proof. One religion had called them Kami, the spirit guardians of, the, of nature. Before long, everyone could see these Kami from the smallest puff of seeds on a dandelion to the vast expanse of an ocean, each part of nature had its own spirit protector. Miraculously, a small number of people could communicate with the Kami. Known as Kami Masters, these people were able to share their power, knowledge, and abilities with the spirits of nature. These men and women were feared by the Kami and instantly destroyed. Of these men and women, I'm sorry, of these men and women, many were feared, many were feared by the Kami and instantly destroyed. Precious few had the patience and humanity to approach the Kami and bestow the proper honor upon these spirits. Their humble plea sustained the fragile tether of human existence. The Kami appeased, added their strength to rebuild the planet. The agreement was that humans would help all of nature, not just their own kind. Humanity was happy to comply. Right, that was just the uh, first four paragraphs, because there's so much more in the game to see. Okay, so these are the city tiles, and um, they do punch out. I'm not going to punch them out now. And they're double-sided. See, these are really nice and thick. Uh, the previous game I reviewed, I was kind of expecting their city tiles to be thick like this. These are nice, though. Really nice and thick. And this one's got some uh, elemental chits on it, I guess. Burn, a burn token. And these are uh, hexagonal, but um, the honeycomb things kind of fit together. So it's you're not. This isn't the border here. This is the border right here. Gosh, you're my shrine tile. I believe this is where you go to heal. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Temple tile. Looks like another healing tile. Or area, anyway. That's lovely. Really nice. I like that red. Alright. Great artwork on these. Really nice and thick. Um, hmm. So the box, I would say, is a bit oversized. As you can see, you've got these big two open areas here. And just a uh, thing to push the cards. And the miniatures, which are getting um, a lot of cool reviews. So these are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, individually wrapped decks of cards. I believe these are characters, maybe? Kiko? Imposing Energy Dragon? Empower. So maybe this is like an attack card. These are the, uh, oh, silly. I forgot what they called it, but you have these um, tomes for each character that uh, are used like books. So you take the top card and you flip it over like that, like a book. I'm not sure uh, how often you have to do it or anything. This looks like another attack card. Instill fear. Crushing force. Combustion. And uh, from what it sounded like in the review, you're able to pick and choose which element, elemental strength, that you want to use. So you could be um, you know, water, fire, earth, metal, whatever, the ones that they are using in this game. I'm not quite sure. So now I'm uh, cracking open these miniatures here. Oh, wow. Alright, come on. This one's a bit askew. Has to be glued. But wow, look at that. That's nice. And it's got the, uh, 
Thai Buddha head, I believe, down there. Wow, that's brilliant. Oh wow, look at that. Gorgeous. I like how thick the bases are on these also. It's kind of hard to topple them. Very shapely, this one. Gorgeous. And finally, reminds me a bit of Yoshimitsu because of the banner behind him. Yoshimitsu is a uh, character from Tekken, I believe. Gorgeous. Alright. So, one more time. This is a game I picked up at Comic-Con. Yashima Legend of the Kami Masters by Greenbrier Games. I look forward to playing this someday.